So I've been fooling around with the 555 timer here. And I've got it hooked up to variable resistance through this potentiometer here. Just a basic resistor. And I've encountered an interesting phenomenon. I'm not sure what's going on, but I've set the potentiometer to just the right turn amount. So that if I get my finger near the shift register here that I've hooked it up to, it causes a clock, I guess, some sort of change. And it, all I have to do is get my finger near it, I don't have to touch anything. Uh, and it, it causes changes in the shift register. <clears throat> What's really wacky about this is if I take a jumper wire and hook it up to the DS on the shift register, you can see it starts working. I, I get this interesting pattern here. And I can control the pattern by controlling the potentiometer. Let's change it. Uh, left and right. Get a little weird stuff. I like this one with the three blocks. So I can get that again. Yeah, there we go. That's a very common one. And if I just leave it like that, it should go forever. But what's really interesting about that is this wire is not plugged into anything. It's just a wire hanging off into the air. I have must have just reached that magic uh, state where the uh, back and forth on the from the timer is just causing the clock to lock in and lock out on the. Uh, Shift register. I'm not sure what's going on. If someone knows what that deal is with that, I'd love to hear about it.